Well, let's talk about re- let's talk about Reality Bites Back because that's where you and I first met each other, which is kind of crazy. Like some people don't even know about this show, and I, I wish we, I don't know if we could put clips of it into this episode without it getting taken down, dude. If I, I'll tell you right now, if you could find the clip of me getting kicked off of Reality Bites Back, yeah, do you remember With that Greg Luganis, dude? Do you, Greg and Michael Ian Black, yeah. Do you remember what how I got kicked off? I remember you did like um yeah you were you, somebody said you did like a DNA like. A, like a broke chain D, like an HIV kind of DNA dance on a desk. <laughs> yeah, I got there was it, so for those of you who don't know, it was a reality show within a reality show. Yeah. I don't know where you can find it. If you can find this clip, I have all the videos at home. Please send it to me. I would, I would, and, and I'm going to make it sound ridiculous. This mm-hmm. is exactly what it is. So it's me, Mo Mandel, and Amy Schumer on the final table. Mm-hmm. I have been hitting on Greg Luganis the whole time as mm-hmm. a joke. I thought it was like. And he was handsome. I mean, this you, is back can when... Can I tell you, by the way, can I stop and put a, a pin in this? Your dive in the wheelchair oh, yeah, as your Amelia salute Earhart. to Amelia Earhart was the funniest fucking thing in the world. Thanks, man. I'll describe it for anyone who can't see it. Mm-hmm. Theo does this like song to the judges about Amelia Earhart. It makes no sense. Yeah. Gets in the wheelchair. Someone rolled you off, correct? Mm-hmm. Someone rolls him off, and he falls... I think 25 feet, 20 feet onto his stomach. Yeah. With, I think, wings attached to your wheelchair mm-hmm. and and knocks the wind out of him legit. Yeah. Pops up like, and we are all like, full Amelia Earhart. Like, full totally Amelia just, Earhart. Yeah. And everyone's like, 10, 10, 10. It was fucking amazing. And then Mo Mandel, <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh yeah, Mo. Mo did a Mo's dance, Mo's dive. The, the whole thing was so you think you could dive. It's a mix up of th- so you think you could dance and a diving competition. Yeah. Mo Mandel's was making fun of the time when Greg hit his head, and I even think he said, "There's AIDS in the pool" or something. Yeah. He goes, "Oh man, I'm gonna jump in the pool. I don't hope I don't get get any AIDS on me or something." Yeah. Then he jumps and almost hits the diving board. <sighs> accidentally. Almost hits his fucking head for real unbelievable and he did not plan on doing that at all i literally came half inch from hitting his head on the diving board yeah and i don't remember what amy's dive was but it was inconsequential yeah because and mine was everybody else had already kind of fucked there were so many outliers that amy yeah. almost just had to play right in the middle yeah and 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 chris fairbanks did a double flip yeah and nobody gave a fuck yeah <laughs> everybody like get this fucking guy out of here <laughs> but it was like every, so many people has made so many poor choices oh and then, and then, so then, the, the whole thing is then that it turns into the boardroom with Donald Trump, whatever that show is, The Apprentice. Yeah, The Apprentice. So they bring us into the inn. They bring me, Amy, and Mo in, mm-hmm. and it's Greg Luganis and Michael Ian Black. And he real quick cruises through Mo and Amy. He's like, Mo, your dive was a little offensive. Amy, it was inconsequential. Bert, I understand you're married. And I went, I am. And he goes, with children? And I said, I am. Wow. And he goes, you're not a gay man. And I went, No. And he was like, do you realize how offensive it is to hit on a gay man and lead him on and make him think you were gay? Because I was legit hitting on Greg Luganis the whole fucking episode. Like even low-key hitting on him? Uh, even when the cameras were off, I was right. flirting with him. Wow. Thinking like, if he thinks, you know, whatever. Right, right. If he thinks I might be able to fuck, he might pat, give me an extra, you know. Yeah, and he was like, and I, and I think, it was edited out, but I think of the thing, I go, Greg, you have AIDS. I would, do you, wow. you think I was hitting on you? And he was like, he was like, you're fired. And he just gets up and leaves. And Amy and Mo are like, oh my God. They're like, what the fuck did we just witness? And then they're like, Mo and Amy are dismissed. And they get up and they walk out. And then Mike Liam Black goes, uh, Bert, you've made a lot of bad life decisions. By the way, he's Mike's Michael Liam Black's not even joking at this point. Right. And I was like, Yeah. And he goes, Your body, your hair, I mean, your <laughs> facial hair. Like he's picking me apart. Yeah. And I'm like, Yeah. And by the way, I no joke, I am humiliated at this moment because I had driven all of us down. Remember, oh, I drove us all yes. down, and in the car ride down, Amy said, "Oh my God, what if one of us gets kicked off? How awkward would the drive back be?" And I was like, "Oh my God, I got to drive everyone fucking home." And so, I he goes, uh, "Michael and Black's like, oh, I'm gonna need your trunks, your suit," and I was like, "Okay." And so I get up, and I'm just embarrassed, and I'm trying to make it funny, and I don't know how to. Mm. So I knock over each of the chairs, and he goes, "What are you doing?" And I said, "I make big exits, Michael." And he was like, no, there's no music playing in this. Okay? And Michael Ian Black's, yeah, I mean, he's really talented. Kind of a pussy, though. But he's, and he's really straight. Yes. His whole thing was like straight man. Yeah, always. And I take my robe off, and then I take my trunks off, and I'm naked. And he's like, wow. He's like, and he's, he might be homoerotic. He, he's not even joking at this moment. He's like, I wouldn't do that. Wow. And by the way, there's a 
30 person film crew there yeah. filming this. I get on the table and I put my feet on the back of his chair and I start pulling his face into my junk. And he's Dang. like, no, no. He's like, I go, look at it, Michael. And he goes, I'm afraid I'll turn to stone. I go, part of you will. Yeah. And, and then out of no, and by the way, I'm That's not wiener. getting a laugh. It is awkward. It is uncomfortable at this mm -hmm. moment. And I look at him. And in a last ditch effort, I kick and I do a backspin naked yes. and I stick it on the table and I look at him and fucking thank you, Michael Ian Black breaks character and starts laughing hysterically and the whole set starts laughing and I walk off. Now, my daughters were in preschool at the time mm -hmm. and I had only been bragging, I will be on Comedy Central and I know now as I'm driving you guys back, that's all these parents will see is me oh. naked face fucking Michael Ian Black. Yeah. Oh my God. And I tell my and how wife. How many of the dads will be jealous, probably? Oh. I tell my wife when I get home, I, she goes, How did today go? And I said, I think I might have just ruined my career. Mm. And she was like, Really? And so I didn't think about it until the episode aired. And then Amy called me the day it aired. I was in Pittsburgh. Wow. What did she say? She goes, I just watched the episode where you got kicked off. It is fucking hilarious. hilarious. You have nothing to be worried about. It is fucking hysterical. She's like highlighted the show. And I was like, oh, thank God. It I was, was like, funny. And it was funny. And, and then it disappeared. No one and ever did he really have AIDS, Greg Louganis? Because he... Yeah. yeah, I think he's still... It's HIV positive. I don't right, think HIV AIDS. positive. HIV positive, yeah. yeah. Do you think you could beat AIDS? What's a disease yeah. you could beat? Name three diseases you could beat, honestly. Crohn's. Um, no way. I think so. You couldn't beat Crohn's. Can you bring up Crohn's, what it is? It's, in, it's just your stomach hurts a little bit. Yeah, dude. If really? you're talking about a guy who just like, yeah, was yeah. fucking somebody in a deep freezer eating a fucking Snicker and a 40. No, 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 no. So you're talking about beating a disease. So you're talking about me getting it and going, I can lick this disease. Yeah, I could beat Crohn's. Ooh, it's right around the butt. It's, it's like irritable bowel syndrome almost. Okay. Yeah, dude. No. Yeah, I can beat Crohn's. Okay. I can All beat right. Crohn's. Um, and by the way, I'm not to be flippant if you have Crohn's and you're like, you have no idea the hell I live no, in. No, no, no. Obviously, look. we're playing, we're fucking around, everybody, but I'm not joking. I changed my lifestyle. I stopped drinking, started yeah. eating healthy, mm -hmm. smoking pot every day. I think I can I can manage Crohn's. I think I can manage Crohn's. Yeah, you just did a uh, triathlon, didn't just you? Just did a triathlon, yeah. If I here's the thing, once I get a disease, all I gotta do, clean my lifestyle up, and I then I, I think I can deal with it. Okay, two other diseases you think you could beat. Um hmm. What's something with your eyes? Optim um, optimization. I could definitely optimize. What is that? <laughs> no, I, think it's, I think that's just a, a word. This is getting better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I could beat the gout. Easy. Yeah, gout's easy. That's just shrimp. You know, too much shrimp yeah, and fucking yeah. not enough elbow yeah. movement. Um, but it affects millions across the fucking across the South. I grew up in the gout belt, dude. Everybody had gout. Everyone's got gout back in Tampa. Dude. Red wine and fucking... Oh, and sea sea shrimp. Sea yeah. Shrimp. Dude, oh, so yeah. Many you got it. Your, fan, your people oh, got it bad. Yeah, bro. Oh, half my fucking family looks like crustaceans, dude. <laughs> He's like, is that a barnacle on your back? And like, nah, I fucking had a salty salad a couple years ago, and it's never been the same. It's crazy how salt just will get stuck in your body. Dude, when I... Like, no joke. When I get my heaviest mm -hmm. is like when i'm on the road doing like uh if i do a theater run i kind of balloon up because i'm flying and partying every day Shoot. like fly perform party fly perform party and that's when i balloon up and i'll come home and i'll, I'll be like 240 and then just i'll eat healthy for two days and i'll drop 15 pounds immediately of just water weight of yeah. just because like, you eat like shit in the airports you're drinking booze you're retaining water you're on planes your ankles are bloated yeah and then all of a sudden just I always think, like, if I just built fences, I'd be in great shape. Really? Like, just built fences or, like, it was no, a potter. No, really? Yeah. You don't think you'd be there? Because, look, I used to work in that type of labor force, and I I mean, it's so easy, bro, to become just a dude that fucking naps in the truck, dude. It's so easy to be that dude. Okay, I'm wrong. You're right. I'm wrong. I'm the napper. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Here, I got confident with Crohn's, and I started t saying the shit I could do. No, I couldn't do that. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Because I'm the guy that if I was building fences, and they were like, hey, man, we're going to burn one behind the house, I'd be like, yeah, 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 I'm in. I'm in. Next thing you know, I'm in the back of a bed of a truck with my head on a hammer going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill's here. Let's get back to work. Yeah, I would not be able to well, do that. It just gets so easy to like all it takes is one long lunch, and next thing you know, you're that fucking dude. One long lunch where they go in and they pull in the store, and the guy in front of you, your 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 head your head chaperone, your head guy, yeah, grabs a, grabs a forty, just a tall boy. Yeah, of, like, it's only your third ice. day working. You've been working hard, and suddenly the fucking truth. next thing you know, you're Rodney King. Yeah. Remember Rodney King when he was on a uh, 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 celeb celeb rehab? 
And he worked for like some housing company, and he worked for a pool company. Did he really? In in Compton, Harry Basil worked with him, didn't he? No, I don't know who's Harry Basil. Is that a comedian? Yeah, Harry Basil that runs the Laugh Factory. Um, they just showed. I get him. no respect. What is that? That's Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> oh yeah, Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> I don't see. I don't drink before I go on stage. And I'm I sorry, think... Rodney King is the vict is one of the victims. Yeah. Ro- <laughs> I'm like, damn. But wait a, also, wait a, wait a, know, wait a, wait a yeah. six degree of separation, Rodney King from himself. Wait, Harry Basil, Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, you're talking about Rodney. K- okay. I get no respect. <laughs> I'm sure he said that at some point during the beating. Hey, I get no respect. Wow, you know what's crazy is my sister can't even read. But what does it have to do with us right now? Hope you enjoyed that video. And you can watch another. And you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.